Hello again. Well, it's a bit cold here today and it's actually forecast snow. So you can tell um, what time of the year that I'm recording this. Um, so, sorry, I'm just tidying up my desk at the side here while I'm talk talking to you. Um, right, so we haven't had a kit build for a while, so I thought I'll dig in the drawer and we'll get the one of the kits out. Um, you can tell it's cold because I've got my thick... Uh, sort of overcoat on as well at the same time as my jumper. Uh, right, so let's have a look at what we've got here. It's, I've had to be careful with this because the it's been in my cupboard for a couple of weeks. Um, but hopefully nothing's dropped out of it because the the wires keep poking out the end. Anyway, enough of my problems. Let's see what we've got. We've got a couple of battery holders. Triple A is 1.5 volt. We've got a very long circuit board. Uh, we've got LEDs, resistors, switches, etc. in there. We've got one of those um, STC programmable ICs and an IC holder. One of these days I'll get round to finding out how to actually program these. And uh, We've got a slight bundle here, looks like we've got some instructions. Do we have English or do we have everything in Chinese? We have everything in Chinese, however we do have a QR code that says English on it, so I'll scan that later on um, and see what it does. Um, I do kind of know about this. I'll put a link to the bottom of the screen as to the kit. Um, as far as I know, what you do with this is you build it up um, and then you wave it in the air like this and then the LEDs will show an image or show a word or something like that. As far as I know, it's all through hole soldering. There's no um, surface mount on this so hopefully it should be a fairly easy build um, it's got in it a in fact we'll, we'll empty everything out of here anyway bag's not very good um, I'll just put that down there for the time being right so we've got some resistors that are not labelled up, but let's have a look at those later. We've got a diode. Air it is, that's what I'm looking for. So we've got this, which is a, I think it's a spring or a um, something that's going to determine the actual movement of the device itself. It's like a spring switch in there. Uh, what else we got? Capacitor. We've got a crystal. There's the LEDs, switch, nuts and bolts, etc. Okay, right. What I think we'll do is I think we'll put the LEDs on first. Get them out of the way. We've got a resistor down there and the switch itself and a couple of other components. So I think what we'll do is we'll do the components at this end of the board first. Then we'll do the components at this end. And I've noticed that we've got components that go under the IC. So I guess what we've got to do is mount the IC holder with the components inside it, so that'll be interesting. Oh, <coughs> we've got a couple of ceramic capacitors I've just spotted as well. We've got some nuts and bolts. I wonder if that holds the um, battery holders on. Is that everything? Oh, no, another capacitor hiding. So it looks like that's it. So there's the LEDs. Okay, right. Um, I don't think I can mount this in my um, circuit board holder, so I think I might have to do this loose on the board. 
Okay. Right, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five resistors on this little pack here, and we've got two resistors there. Having a look at this, we've got 10K there, 10K there, 10K there, and 1.5K there. So that's it for the resistors. So I don't think we need to check these. Um, because we've got three 10Ks, I'm going to assume that's the, the five. And we've got one 1.5K, so I'm assuming that's a two. Sometimes they do give you extra ones. So that's okay. Um, and this 4007 must be referring to the diode. Uh, and the diode has a line on it, and that has a line on it as well. So. I think we're fairly certain about those. Okay, right. Soldering iron is switched on, so that can be nicely warming up. The diode, um, we've got a line on the circuit board. So if we look at that, there's a line just there. I hope you can see that all right. And on the diode, there's a line which is on the left-hand side as well. So we know which, which way around that goes. I've got this little 3D printed leg sort of assistance assistant is that what you call it i don't know anyway you can use it to bend the, set, the legs with it right okay so the Right, that's that one on. Uh, so let's get one of the resistors. The resistors are not uh, got polarity on them, so it doesn't matter which way around they go. Okay, great stuff. So that's got those on there. Uh, while we're here, we might as well get the switch on there as well. It doesn't matter which way around this goes by the looks of things. I'm just having a quick check. Uh, so the legs are slightly off centre, so they'll need to go like that. There we go. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's get this soldered up then. Right, I've just realised that I was zoomed in there a bit, so I'm not too sure, excuse me, how much you saw that, but soldering is soldering, you know how that goes by now. Okay, that's got those bits off. Let's zoom out so you can see what's going on. Okay, so that's them done. Oh dear, we've got a, a resistor that's decided to move. Let's see if we can sort that out. Okay, that's them done. Uh, I know I said I was going to do the LEDs first. It looks like I'm going to do the LEDs last. But that's all the components that, that end apart from the LED. So let's have a look down here then. We've got two ceramic capacitors here by looks things and we've got the bigger capacitor there we've got two 10k resistors there so let's get them do for, done first a couple of resistors and yes you may have noticed i'm not using that super duper 3d printed leg bender anymore leg bender is that the right word i don't know Right, let's got those done. Let's do a couple of the capacitors. Now, I'm going to guess that these are all the same. It says 22 on the board and it says 22 on the capacitor. The, these are little ceramic ones. They're not um, 
polarised either, so it doesn't matter which way around they go. So, so we look at this one, does that say 22 as well? Yes, it does, so that's okay. So pop that on there as well. Okay, let's get them soldered up. Okay, let's get them done. Uh, let's chop off the legs. Right, that's got them all done. Okay. Now, I know those capacitors are sticking up a bit, but they're not much more bigger than that resistor, so they should be okay going underneath the IC holder. Uh, next thing I think we'll do then is the crystal, which is a 12 megahertz by the looks of things. It does say 12M on the board as well, so that's a bit of a clue. And while we're here, we'll have a look at that capacitor now. Um, don't forget on the capacitors, long leg is positive, short leg is ground. There's a coloured part here, a, sh a shaded part, and that goes to the shaded part on the board as well. So let's pop that in there. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to bend this one so it's flat against the circuit board, like so. Okay, so that's got them done. Right, uh, anything else that goes underneath this IC holder? No, that looks like everything underneath there is done. Uh, just double checking the soldering underneath. Uh, that looks okay to me. Right, okay, what we've got to do, we've got a press switch here and we've got a slider switch there. So the press switch is one of these and it should just sort of Always matters with Space Invaders, the legs. Yep, that just clips into place like that. And then we've got a sliding switch, which goes into here. Yep, that looks okay. I think we're gonna have to put a bit of blue tack on it. Um, that is, of course, if you can find this bit of blue tack. No, looks like the bit of blue tack has gone walking somewhere. Yeah. I've left it on the leg of my um, circuit board holder. Right, a little bit of that. Okay, that's got that bit done. Now the connector next to it, the VCC RDX uh, um, TXD, sorry, do it again, VCC RXD TXD and ground. I think that's for programming, that's at the top there, which you've got this little jumper here to put on. Um, again, I'm not programming it because I'm not 100% sure how to do that. And one of these days I will find out. We've got the plus and ground for the battery holder, which we'll put on a little later. So I'm just going to very quickly just double check the board, make sure that we've got everything component wise, apart from the LEDs, which we do. So the next thing we will do is the IC holder. So let's put that on there, see if it'll go on, see if we've got any damaged legs or anything like that. Nope, that looks like it's okay. It is very close to that clock just there, but that's not okay. So I think we should be okay sorting that up. So the usual thing that we do here is we just solder one leg this side and one leg this side. like that and that will just hold it in place I'm just going to push this side and warm up that leg that's okay same with this one warm up the leg and push this side it is very close that but the legs are showing through so that's okay right 
let's get that soldered up. Okay, that's all done now, and uh, while I was there, I just uh, double checked all the soldering connections as well to make sure they were okay, which they are, so that's all good. So, everything's done now apart from the LEDs. So, let's have a look at the LEDs. Right, we've brought our LED tester here, so long leg is positive, short leg is ground, so let's stick that in there and there we got a light so that, that's okay on the circuit board itself if i can zoom in and show you the circuit board is actually marked with a plus on it as well so the the top hole as you're looking at it is the plus so we can pop all the leds in there long leg being the positive Ah, right, something I've just noticed. Okay, let's uh, let's just zoom in and show you. Right, nearly caught me out there, look. Um, okay, so on here, we've got positive on the top pin there, and then it jumps to positive on the bottom just there so these are positive on the bottom and these are positive on the top let's have a quick look on the other side yeah so we've got a definite piece of wiring change this side and this side look good job i noticed that okay let's uh, let's carry on Right, that's got all the legs done, um, all the LEDs are in place, so next thing we need to, of course, is solder them up. Right, that's got all them done. Um, I just double checked some of the soldering at the end there, just to make sure it was okay. And some of the legs are that's better, sticking through. Oh, still not happy. There we go. Right, always double check your soldering if it's like mine and it resembles something like a, a dog's dinner then always just double check it and make sure it's okay. Right, that looks like they're okay and for a change they're all flush the circuit board as well. Right, okay, what's next? I see to go on I think. Uh, so don't forget we've got the little cutout at the end there with the uh, IC holder was put on the right way around. This will cut out on the IC there. Let's just quickly straighten the legs up. Okay, let's get that in. Okay, just double check, make sure there's no bent pins on those, there isn't. Okay, so that's in nice and tight. Right, next thing we've got then is the battery holders. So, how are these going to go on? So we've got the, they go on that way around. Or do they go on that way around? The holes don't seem to line up with the actual battery holder let's have a look at no they don't the holes don't line up at all with that 
So I'm going to presume, yeah, there's a link there between the two of them. So um, it's going to be uh, one, two, three. So it's going to be six volt in total. Just trying to work out which actually is the best way because I think if we do it that way, the wires are going to be too tight, they're going to be too close to circuit board. So I'm tempted to put them that way around. Just gives a little bit of extra just to. Right, okay, um, there's been a couple of changes. First of all, I've tidied the desk up, as you can see. Um, and I've started to um, put the battery holders on. This one, well, I, say, I was going to say it's stuck on, but it's not. I've taken that bolt off because I tried to stick a battery in and I realised that the bolt that was going through it was actually causing the batteries not to fit if you can see that battery there it's actually scuffed at the side so i thought i know what i'll do i'll stick a bit of double-sided tape on it and i was about to say that one stuck but it hasn't so i'm gonna to have to stick some more on to see if i can get it to stick better it's not particularly fantastic double-sided sticky tape this and it could be that the actual tape itself is not very good so I thought you can join me back again and see if we can get this to to work better right is that gonna stick mm, it's kind of stuck Let's do the same for this side Right, okay, that's got them on. Um, we'll stick the batteries in, making sure that we put them in the right way around, of course, that always helps. Right, that's okay, that spring's a bit not springy on that side, but it's okay, it's connected. And okay, so that's all connected in now. What I thought about doing is you know right at the start we had um, the instructions wherever they've gone, oh there they are Ta -da. they were held together by this elastic band so I wonder if we can there you go that'll do, that'll hold it in for the time being um, ok let's just double check to make sure we've got 6 volts on there just detangling my cables can you see that? I don't know if you can see that ok let's have a look uh, what have we got? ground at the bottom plus at the top Yep, 6.3. That's okay then. Okay, so that's now connected. Uh, no lights are on at the moment, so the one at the top says PWR, so I'm presuming that's a power one. Um, right, okay, let's flip the switch, see what happens. Right. Good news, we've got a LED 
right at the far end, so that's okay. Um, are we? Oh, we have got a flash, and I'm just checking. So all I'm doing is I'm just banging the um, spring against my finger, and um, might be a bit difficult to see, but all the LEDs are actually flashing. So I'm going to assume, although it is best not to assume that that is in fact working. Um, again, I think the button must be to change patterns or something. Um, okay, I don't know how I'm going to show this, but I'm going to wave it in the air now. <laughs> uh, is there an expression like that? Wave it in the air like you just don't care or something. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's turn it around, that might help. There we go. It, it is uh, something that's... Okay, now, <laughs> I can see the word love in that. I don't know if you can or not, but that does say the word love. Press the little button again. Okay, so I can see a love heart there. Um, hang on a minute, let me just reposition the camera, see if I can get a better angle. Right, I'm holding the camera now. Um, here it is, let's see if I can get this to work. Okay. Um, that doesn't look like that looks like Chinese writing gobbledygook to me. So just press the button Right that is in fact saying the word love if you can see that Press it again, and I can see a love heart I think you can just see that through the camera So I think that's working um, Right hang on a second. Let me just reset the camera back in a tick Right, so there you have it. Uh, it is in fact working. Um, just switch it off. There we go. Um, so we're on six volt. Those batteries have moved, so it's still not particularly sticky. Um, it's very difficult to hold it as well. You can kind of hold it like that in your hand. Um, but you've got you've got wires in. You've got the bottom of the circuit board here, which is you can't really grip it that much. Um, but there we go, that's it. Um, that is this uh, display thing, the LED display thing. Uh, I presume you can code it. I say one of these days I'm going to find out how to code these STC chips because I've got quite a few LED kits that have got those chips on them. Uh, so they must be uh, programmable for multi outputs and, and, and things like that. Um, so there you go, a nice and easy LED sign thing. If you like what I do, please subscribe. There's a link down there for you. And don't forget, all this talking is making my throat dry. So if you want to buy me coffee, there's a link down there as well. Okay, catch you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.